This is a demonstration of the Lawson for Equipment Service Management and Rental mobility application. It's an integrated solution enabling enterprise-wide connectivity no matter where your employees are working. This mobility solution helps simplify and streamline notification, processing, completion, and delivery of service orders and other related work practices. Let's start with the scheduling board. This is a simple to use drag and drop solution to allocate work. Color coding indicates if a job has been started. It allows us to check capabilities such as service type, customer location, and technician skill level. Using Lawson for Equipment Service Management and Rental, we can simply allocate a work order to a specified technician, in this case, Kevin, through a simple drag and drop operation. We'll switch to this view to see if the work order has been queued up for dispatch. Now, here we see Lawson Mobility for Service. In the main list screen, we can see the service work orders allocated to our technician, Kevin. In addition to the just received breakdown call, there is also a scheduled maintenance job. From here, we can check parts and equipment in the service truck, communicate with the service controller, accept or decline work orders, review the job and the specific machine history, check a list of other service techs who are working and request that they take over any work orders that Kevin may not be able to do due to the new work order. Now here's how Kevin, our service tech, will start this work order. The first step is to register that he's traveling to the customer's site. The Lawson Mobility solution now communicates this back to the business engine where the work order status is updated. The next step is to report that he has arrived at the customer's site. And again, this information is communicated back to the business engine. It then allows Kevin to work through the job details and history for this piece of equipment. This application even provides a tool for Kevin to confirm that he'll take all necessary safety precautions to ensure his safety in the field. Now this is known as a Take 5 checklist, which has been created through special functionality known as forms. Other examples include walk-around inspection, oil sample identifications, recording of equipment meter values, and customer feedback. The checklist or list of tasks can vary according to the customer, type of work, and equipment. Now once the repair is completed, Kevin needs to report the parts used. This can be done manually or through the use of a barcode reader. Stock levels are replicated with the business engine, so now everybody has an up-to-date picture of our stock both in the service warehouse and in the service van. Now we move on to the service work order completion screen. The service technician reports the status, fault, cause, and correction codes, adding a description of what was done on site. The system then provides a simple and clear summary of the work performed, parts used, and the fault codes. We can now close out the service work order, having the customer sign that the work was completed to his or her satisfaction. By replicating this data back to the business engine, invoicing activity can start immediately. This can directly improve your cash flow. And with that, Kevin is now ready for the next service call. Meanwhile, back at the office, the service controller can see that the job is completed and can dispatch Kevin or another service technician to the next job. This gives a quick view of the functionality of the Lawson for Equipment Service Management and Rental mobility application. It can bring greater efficiency and accuracy to your field service operations, improving the use of service tech resources, supplies, and job allocations. All of this can lead to improved cash flow and a better bottom line.